Alright, the plan is to make this one quick and easy. Uh, I'm only really doing this because a couple people asked, but there really isn't. Like, I'm gonna do some group predictions, but this really shouldn't take too long. I already have a video talking about what I think of all the teams. I have another video with, like, predictions. I have a second power rankings video where I talk about the teams more. So, like, if you want to know what I think about each team, there, there's other videos on that already. Uh, in terms of things that surprise me, I, I guess um, DRX definitely looks a lot stronger than I thought they would. They looked very bad all regular season, but they turned it up, so maybe maybe they bump up a bunch of spots. RNG not really finding the dominance that I thought they would find, dropping a game to DRX, dropping a game to Detonation Focus Me, so maybe we take RNG, drop them down a little bit. But other than that, things are about as expected. I am surprised that um, Saigon Buffalo lost their series to MAD. Uh, I did originally have in my predictions that if Saigon Buffalo brings their full roster, they make it out. Saigon Buffalo brought their full roster and did not beat MAD to advance to the final best of series for qualifying. But here we have my original power rankings in order, and I just grayed out all the teams that um, did not make it. If I end up doing predictions for quarterfinals, semifinals, finals. I'll continue to, to gray out things just to give a little visual for how the teams are doing based on how they thought they would do. So this was my power rankings. Again, moving a few things around based on what I saw, but this is this should give a fairly clear indicator as to what I think about the groups. Uh, I do think C9 is a very strong team, but unfortunately this group is, is a little bit toughy. Now, like, is, is C9... Could they do it? Sure. I uh, can't count them out. But for now, I'm just going to give them third and then Fnatic as last. Fnatic definitely showed some holes in play-ins. For example, Loud were able to defeat them, which by the way, I am very happy with how Loud did. Uh, they were definitely my favorite team going into Worlds, and they've made a bunch of new fans and are still my favorite team, even though they were eliminated. So now at this point, all, all of... All, all of my eggs are in the, the JDG and Gigabyte Marines basket, I, and Cloud9, I guess, cheering for Cloud9. But despite that, I do think it will be T1 and EDG getting out of the group. If I had to pick one right now, I would say T1 over EDG, but it's very, very close to me. It could go either way. But if you really wanted like a concrete answer, my prediction right now is T1 first, EDG second. Cloud9 third, Fnatic last, NA over EU, Keck W. Uh, that's going to come back to bite me in the ass if that doesn't happen. Group B, I think this one's pretty self-explanatory. JDG automatically out. I really, I don't see them dropping any games in this group. If they drop games, uh, it will be very sad and JDG will be reduced to the chokers that they usually are. But I have faith this time. I think JDG can do it. So they're getting out of the group. Other team I'm going to have out of the group is... Dom one, I think Nagari is going to enjoy this meadow. We've been seeing a decent amount of Kennen, a lot of carry tops, Fiora, Jax, Aatrox. So Nagari no longer going to be on Sejuani duty. I'm going to have G2 uh, over EG. I'm pretty okay with that. EG looked really good against Mad, but um, I don't know. History repeats itself. So coming over here, TES is the easy one that's going through. And, you know, despite DRX's appearance in play-ins, I am not going to, I'm not confident enough to say that they're going out, which leaves it between Rogue and Gigabyte Marines, and I'm going to get a lot of, <laughs> going to get a lot of flack for this, but, you know, I, I have to trust my gut. I have to go with what feels right to me. So we're going to say Gigabyte Marines over Rogue. Yes, I can hear your booing. Keep booing. It, it fuels me. It only makes me stronger. As, as I've kind of already been over, Vietnam, they're kind of like the budget LPL. Really, really awesome mechanics. Some really neat draft ideas. Gigabyte Marines specifically, I really like uh, how they adapted to the draft during all of Summer Split. I also think that they have Levi, who is a top five jungler at Worlds this year. Yes, I said that out loud. Yes, I definitely truly think that. So I have faith in Gigabyte Marines to pull through. It's kind of similar to the C to the C9 making it out of Group A thing. Like if Ro if Rogue make it out of Group C, like if Gigabyte Marines sucks ass and they end up 06, I won't be too surprised. But until I see it happen, I'm still a Vietnam believer. So Gigabyte Marines through, and then in this last group, 
Uh, we're going to have 100 Thieves going last. I think they're going to regret underestimating CFO. Uh, I think CFO is a better team than people will be expecting, especially their top laner rest. Really good top laner. Uh, don't sleep on that guy. And then that leaves RNG, Gen.G making it through. I don't think anybody's surprised at that result. Uh, I still think that RNG can make it to quarters even though they looked weaker. And that's pretty much going to do it. Like I said, this one's a shorter video. Pretty much anything I said about the teams I've already said. This video is not really one that I was prioritizing too much. I don't, I don't really care too much about groups predictions because it doesn't really add anything to what I've said. And I have some other videos that I that I really want to think about doing, such as preseason. The preseason 2023 notes came out. I really want to do a video with um, the new items that they came out with and uh, theory crafting some new builds around the items. Uh, item builds and like searching for new strategies has always been a passion of mine. Uh, sometimes I completely miss. Like there was a phase where I was playing a bunch of Shirelius Hecarim th after the Chem Tank nerfs, thinking like, oh, it'll be just as good because he'll get the movement speed and it's a cheap item and then yeah no that was that was trash there are other times where i'm spot on i started playing lethal desire at the start of 2021 with uh, my variation was prowler's claw man immune Sereldas. and then i was telling everybody lethal desire is completely busted stop going crit trust me trust me and then everybody was like nah nah crit's the way to go and then and then the lethal desire became meta of course the pros go with um eclipse yeah, sometimes my item builds hit, sometimes they miss, and I see new items, they look interesting, and I really want to fool around with them. So I have some champions, there's some item combos that I'm going to go over. I think that'll be a cool video, so hopefully we'll be able to see that unless I get massively overrun by, by schoolwork. But in terms of group predictions, that's about all I have. So um, thanks for watching, and you probably won't see me talk about Worlds at all again until quarterfinals. So uh, peace.